Good afternoon. I can't see nobody on my end. Good afternoon. <laughs> Happy Resurrection Sunday. Let me know how y'all doing. I still can't see nobody, so I'll give it a minute. Y'all, I'm over here working on my greens that I did not cut up last night. <laughs> hey, cooking with Casey. Hey, dear. From North Carolina. It's good to see you. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Hey, Life with Rob. How you doing today? How is y'all day going? My day has been blessed. It has been a blessed day. Hey, Jose. Hey, Gary. Same to you, dear. <laughs> Hi, Tamika. So, y'all, I have not done anything. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Same to you. But I have gotten all of my collards. Uh, I take the stems out. So, now I'm going to cut them up. And then I'm going to pressure cook my greens. So, I'll let you all see how I put those on. I'll kind of just share a little bit with you all. Hey, Mallory. Hey, Patty. Hey, Tamika. Let me grab my uh my pot for y'all, my pressure cooker. Oh. Woo. This thing is heavy, too. All right. I usually just bring mine over here. And I am going to... Go ahead and put my meat on. Pressure cookers are lifesavers, especially when you're cooking late. <laughs> well, it's not really late because everything will be ready by dinner time. So I'm not worried about that. But I think traditionally, most people kind of eat early on Easter, so sometimes we are on a holiday. Sometimes we do, and sometimes we don't. <laughs> Bernice said, I'm cooking now too. Hi, Diane. Oh yeah, Patricia. Um, and these are just some turkey wings that I get. Now I use all kind of meat for my greens. Today we're gonna do the smoked turkey. So I got that. And I like to cook that prior to putting my greens in. Your greens only take about 35 to 45 minutes. So if you don't have the time, and this is just some salt pork. So I'm going to also add that in. Hi, Mary. Same to you. And then I'll show you my seasonings. And we're going to put that on and we're going to cut the greens. And I got to wash them. And then we're going, by the time I'm done with that, I'll be able to put them in with the meat. And then we're going to move on to the next thing. So today I'm making um, smothered chicken. I'm making... And I'm just going to fry the chicken all the way through you all and then just make a gravy. And we just going to put that chicken on in that gravy. I'm not going to cook it, like bake it and do all the extra stuff I do. And, um, and this is our salt pork. So I'm going to cut that. Just cut it up into smaller pieces. That's all. And it's just added flavor. So I'm going to cut them up like that and put those in there. So I'm going to do smothered chicken. I'm going to do a little, uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to do some rice. I'm going to do some macaroni and cheese. Um, I'm going to do the greens. And I'm going to do, it's not like I'm missing something. Greens, macaroni and cheese, rice, smothered chicken and gravy. So who ate already? Because I know some of y'all did. <laughs> That's enough. So I'm gonna put this back. We're gonna add some broth and some seasonings.
Thank you, Beverly. I appreciate that. Leticia said can candid yams. Can yams. Oh, you making some can yams? All right, so I'm just adding some broth and I'll show you all into the pot. They in there having a good old time, honey. I'm glad my grandbaby is a happy baby. She, well, she's not a baby no more. She a toddler. All right. You couldn't cook today, Carcinia? Oh, I wish I could have fed you. Y'all listen, I walked up in church today. Y'all know how many people stopped me and was like, wait a minute. You ain't cooking today? <laughs> you ain't cooking for us today? <laughs> so it's good to know that people are looking forward to those meals. They didn't got spoiled now, honey. So I'm going to cook them something good next week. So I got my seasonings in there with my salt pork and my turkey and my, my chicken broth. Okay. So I'm just going to, let me stir it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil too. I love making my greens in my pressure cooker now because, and I've been doing it for a minute now, but they come out the way I like them. Like just nice and tender, but yet they still have like a little bit of a firmness. Somebody else said they didn't cook today. That's okay if you didn't cook today. It's definitely not a requirement. You know, hey, I don't cook every holiday either. I don't do that, so. It just depends. I consult with my children and see what they want to do because ain't nobody got time and don't nobody want to eat. But I'm going to tell you what was funny. Not don't want to eat, but you know, if they're not going to eat a lot, I don't really do a lot. So I need to put this on. What am I looking at? I ain't had this thing out in a minute. Okay. We are going up to, I'm going to give it, that's too long. Well, it don't matter. It's cool. I know when to stop it. I, it's on 48 minutes, but I know to stop it before then. Oh, you're saying what's the best way to cook uh, yams? Uh, I do like them in the oven. There are a lot of foods that are better in the oven that we cook on top of the stove, but that's one of them. Like when I cooked uh, the cabbage for the church, people couldn't believe it was baked. I baked the cabbage and it came out amazing. So it just depends. Um, I'm gonna turn y'all a little bit and put this down so we can get our cutting board. And I'm gonna cut up these greens. Hey, Charles. Same to you, dear. Hold on, let me see. I ate after church at the restaurant. You know, I stick to my diet, but today I splurged and had a dab of all you are preparing plus more. Oh, Jewel, that's nice. It's good to, to do that every now and then, isn't it? <laughs> I understand. So for my greens, I take like a stack of them, you all. And I'm going to put y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. For those that want to know how, to, how I cut my greens. And I fold them over. And then I just roll them as tight as I can get them. Ooh, it's hot in here. Oh, no, honey, I can't do this. I'm going to have to go turn that heat off. I've tried to put the heat on to be nice. <laughs> and I just uh, do them like that, you all. So you can cut yours how you want. You can do leafy, shred it. I like to go more the shredded route. So that's what I'm doing with these today. Today I made some red, uh, what is it? Red beans. That sounds good. Red beans and rice. I haven't made none of that in a minute. Okay, y'all. People who cook, y'all already know. We cannot cook when it's hot, okay? We have to have the air on 
and or a fan. So be considerate. I'm the same way when I'm braiding hair. When I'm braiding hair, I have to have, I have to have the fan on, the air on or something. Then people who be either not cooking or not cleaning, not doing nothing, not getting their hair done, they be they be cold. And you be hot and sweating and carrying on. I tell my kids that if you cold and you you ain't working, that's why you cold. <laughs> Get up and do something, and then you won't be cold. That'll take care of that problem. All right, y'all, let me turn this air on. I cannot at all, period. There we go. And I put it on 69. They finna start fussing. All right, I'm gonna do one more for y'all. So you can, in case you missed it. So I just take a stack of them. You see, I already took out the... The stems, if you like your stems, leave them on in there, okay? You do yours how you want. That's the wonderful thing about cooking is that you can always do your food the way you like your food. Y'all know I don't even get down like that, so forgive me. But uh, you do your food how you want to do your food, right? So I take it and I fold it over like that. And I'm going to show you another thing I do sometimes. If I don't want them shredded like a long shred, I'll go over... You know, definitely wrap it like this. We still got to wash our greens. So if you see some here and there, don't worry about it. And then I'll cut it. That way you don't have a long shred. Just hold it tight and start shredding them. And then they'll be shorter, okay? If you don't want the long shred. And then if you want them leafy, you could just go further down and cut them but I'm not doing that. They cook quicker too when they're shredded. Same thing like when I shred my cabbage. You all have seen me do that. Do you sometimes prefer beef ribs rather than pork ribs? Uh, no, I never really desire a pork rib, I mean a beef ribs. I like beef, I like all kind of meat, but when I have a rib, a nice rib, I prefer mine to be pork because it tastes better to me. Uh, it's the same thing with the neck bones. I prefer beef. Um, um, I prefer pork neck bones. Excuse me, over beef. So I just, you know, exercise the moderation of it because I don't think too much of anything is good for us. So if you eat it all the time, you're gonna you're gonna have some health issues more than likely. But if you can just balance it out, you'll be okay. And I'm grateful that I don't crave stuff every day, too. Because some people, they they eat pig feet every week. And it's the truth. And I know because I used to live in an area where they did it. They would eat pig feet, pig ears, chitlins, all that stuff every weekend after church. And the thing about it, that's not sustainable for your health. It's just not sustainable. Let's see. Good afternoon. You cooking brisket? Okay, now. I thought I was going to come in here and y'all say, we already ate. So most people are cooking. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. Okay, I can try to see your comments now. I made ham. I got to make my ham. Macaroni. We making the same thing, except I'm making smothered chicken. Teresa, you like beef ribs? They good. They good. Now, a, a good beef short rib... Smothered in some gravy. I think that's the one thing if I could eat it, well, I, I can eat it more. But gravy and rice is something, man. It's something about gravy and rice. I could eat it every day. Thank you, April. This is not what I wore to church. I came home and threw this on because the other dress was, uh, you know, I wasn't as comfortable. But, uh, Hey, Mary. Berna, you making uh, some other chicken? Is it Berna? Yeah, Berna. I know we be looking crazy trying to read the comments. <laughs> I really can't see because my dress, since my dress is white and the comments are white, you know, they're like, you know, it's blending in with my dress. So it got me looking crazy. Latoya said, me too. I'm just getting over COVID. I don't even want to cook. Um, Debbie, I understand, baby. I had COVID one time, and that was the time I thought I was going to be with the Lord. <laughs> Woo, I, I'm so serious. 
I am so serious. I told you all, I understand how people, when they're really, 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 really sick, how they just can surrender, like just let go and, and go on because you be so sick. You be so, you feel so bad. You would rather just go. You would rather just go, you know, than to stay, than to fight. So, and I believe a lot of people, okay, I know I put the thing, I closed the thing up. I believe that's what a lot of people with cancer do. They just let go. It ain't that they can't keep fighting, but shoot, you be tired. Your body, it's it's hard fighting against something that's trying to take you out of here. And that COVID was trying to take me out. It was trying to take me out, y'all. And I got to a point, I was about ready to let it have it. Like, you can have this one, COVID. <laughs> I ain't finna be funny about it. I was so sick, y'all. I was. I was very sick. Um, very sick. I wouldn't wish that on nobody, child. Hey. Hey, Louise. How are you? Yeah, Berna. You know, and when those who have been in health situations, you understand what I'm saying. You know, you have to be close. You have to be just in that place to understand what I'm saying. You could, you could really feel so bad in your body, man. You just, you just would rather just stop fighting because it is a fight. You're fighting to stay alive. After I had Alana, I told you all, uh, I almost died multiple times in childbirth. I had five C-sections and, um, they had to put me under for Alana because I'm, uh, allergic to the medications. I couldn't stay awake. And, um, that was the only time I've been put down for surgery. But I've I've almost died many times <laughs> in the hospital. But anyway, when the nurse woke me up from that surgery, I had to fight to breathe. I had to fight because they couldn't give me pain medication until I woke up. So I was in a, man. If you ever woke up from surgery, you know that's a pain right there. Woo, that's a pain you can't describe. And so uh, I was just fighting you all. Fighting, fighting, fighting. I'll never forget that because I almost let go. And I thought about my baby. I thought about Alana. And I said, well, if I go now, I was in a peaceful state. But I said, if I go now, I ain't going to be able to, you know, be there for her. And I just fought until I came to, all the way to. But I literally could feel I can go either way. I was at that point like, well, you could just let go. <laughs> and I would have just slipped on away. Or you can fight and Come on, come on back too. I said, okay, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so I fought to stay around, but I just don't believe death hurts because I've been in a peaceful place. Every time I was about to die, it was peace. It was peace. Peace, peace, peace. <clears throat> so that's why I try to encourage people, don't, don't fear dying because when it happens, child, you can't do nothing about it anyway. But for believers, death is our new beginning. Hey, Prince, how are you? Who went to church? Church was good. That message was so good, y'all. I got to listen to it again and again and again. That message today was so good. The worship was good. Um... And it's, it's, it's different when you know how to go into the house of God and receive from God without anybody doing nothing, laying no hands on you, nothing. I don't need none of that. I go in there. I know how to enter into his presence and everything and receive from God. So once you get to that point, church really be a blessing if you where you're supposed to be. If you where you're being fed and where God wants you to be so that you can grow, then... um. It's different. Oh, good, Joshua. I'm glad. Glenda, I'm glad to hear that. Elaine, honey, I am making some collard greens. I'm going to make some um, some rice. I'm going to make some smothered chicken. And I'm going to make... I may, I may not make that ham. Well, no, my daughter says she want a ham. I'm going to make the ham. My ham is not real small. But can you can freeze that, can't you? Oh, yeah, Carsenia. I'm going to tell you something. 
Um, I didn't see your comment when I was on live yesterday, but I always go right back after my live and look at the comments. So I pray for you. I did that you have a safe uh, cruise and everything. I'm so happy for you. I like to see people doing what they want to do. It makes me happy. It does. When Maggie uh, went to London, I was so happy for her. Because people should just do what they want to do. Live your life. You only get one. You only get one go at this thing, honey. So you better, <laughs> you better figure it out. Whatever makes you happy, you better be doing it. Because once today gone, it ain't coming back. Okay, Jacqueline said we could freeze it. So I do what I want to do every day. So I hope y'all doing what y'all want to do. And it has nothing to do with having stuff. I'm trying to tell you. If you ain't got the money to go travel, then do something else you want to do. Watch that movie you want to watch. I don't know. Sit in silent, solitude if you want to. Write that book. Read that book. Laugh with your kids. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Because <clears throat> we only get one shot. One shot. Ain't no do-overs. I don't know, it's just showing me people. Well, I caught you say, hey, Ronald. <laughs> I keep telling you, it's not me, it's Facebook. I'm going to tell you, I and I, I get to talk to people, you know, because of uh, when, you know, I don't know how, how many people can talk to the Facebook people, but I am able to, uh, I have access to Facebook, uh, people that work for Facebook, whatever you want to call it, their support. And, um, but they advised me that in order for, number one, for people to get notified when you're live, your notifications do need to be turned on. But you also have to be someone who is consistently going live. So there are people that go live every single day and you're going to see a difference in their numbers versus someone who only goes live once or twice a week. You know, so there are some other things they were sharing with me about um, your visibility because they have to switch up some stuff with their algorithm, which makes sense because they're not going to lose money. They got to do what they got to do too. So I get it. Um, but I also understand. So I have a greater understanding as to what's going on now, <clears throat> which I'm still going to do the same thing I'm going to do. <laughs> so it ain't going to change that up, do it. But uh, it's good to have understanding. It does help. And all that getting, get an understanding if you can. So it's good to have that understanding. Do you put your own lashes on? Yes, I do. I'm going to try to see your comment. Thank you, Deanna. Teresa, you got your notification? Yep. My other page is like my, uh, you know, we get notified on our end too that our visibility is increasing. We get notified about all of that stuff, our analytics across the board. So the good thing about my page, my post reach is consistent every week. Like my post reach, um, for some reason, I've been getting way more follows each week than I normally do. So, um, but I'm not complaining about that. I'm just, that's just one thing that has increased. But I also have hundreds and hundreds of videos that people that are circulating on a regular basis. So that's that too. <sighs> so, you know, it's social media for you. So we're going to come over here. Yo. Dang, that smell good. I was going to say, y'all smell that? But y'all can't smell it. <laughs> y'all can't smell what I can smell. It smells so good. Uh-oh, up in here. Yes, it do. I know I missed something. Now, if there's something that you want to ask me and I miss it, just ask me again. Thank you, Therese. Girl, listen. And you know what's, what's funny is um, I was going to cook. I was going to cook this same meal for the church today, but I'm, I'm grateful because we definitely had twice as many people there. Ooh, that would have been a lot, honey. But yes, I cook with love. Anytime I cook, I cook with love. 
I pray over my food. I do. Um, and I just enjoy doing it. And I think that makes all the difference. If you make a, just a sandwich, it don't have to be no, uh, ain't got to be no major meal like that. But even if you just make a sandwich, if you do that with love, it makes all the difference. Oh yeah, Carcina, we gonna we gonna get down to it. Are you in the supporters hub? If you're not, that's okay. But let me know. Let me know. Now I like to clean out my sink when I'm doing my my college, y'all. Let me some cold water in here. And we gotta wash these things now. I don't encourage people to. I don't tell you what to do with your food, but. You know, stuff that grows in the ground, they get bugs and stuff in between the little leaves. So it's just good to wash your cabbage and your leafy greens and all that stuff. I gotta chop up some onion. I'm going to just put a little onion in here with these greens. They may get done before we get off this live because I'm going to go ahead and put on this last little stuff. This whole meal is going to take me about an hour and a half. No, about two hours. This whole meal. And using this pressure cooker is going to cut that time in half for my greens. They take a lot longer if you, you know, cook them on the stove. somebody to come off this live and come to my house and come smell what smell what's cooking <laughs> all right y'all sorry about that so hold on bring y'all down so when i'm cleaning my collars i just take them and i literally like rub them together like that under the water that way if there are any bugs or any dirt or any of that. I don't put anything in with mine at all. Hi, Cheryl. I can see your comments too. So I do this a few times and then I, you know, I drain the water and I wash them again a few times and then we're good to go. Carolyn, girl, you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta try it. And by you putting that uh, smoked meat in there ahead of time, we're going, we're cooking that meat. So by the time, let's see, hey, I didn't cook today. Come get a plate. Who said I didn't cook? <laughs> I missed your thing. I'll go back and look at it. Thank you for the stars. I saw that. Okay. My hands is just tied up. Okay, is it Paris? Thank you for that. Let's see, and thank you for being a supporter. Hey, I didn't cook today, but I did make chili cornbread with rice yesterday, okay? I always make your, it won't let me click it. I don't know what it's, I'm sorry, it won't let me click it. Thank you so much for that, dear. All right, and I can see some stuff loosening up, honey. Ooh, 
Greens are dirty. They are dirty. So we're gonna drain this water out. <clears throat> hey Deborah, thank you all for just hopping on and saying uh, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Sunday. I know what you mean. It's only one day for me today. My Lord and Savior, he got up. He was rose from the dead. And he lives. He truly does live. And that's just the blessing, honey. That is the blessing. Thank you, Lord. All right. I'm going to put some more water in here. Somebody said something about their greens. Let's see. Margaret says, my old cookbook says to wash greens and seven waters. Who cookbook? Your cookbook? Wash seven times. Or are you saying an old school cookbook? Amen, Deborah. And Teresa. <laughs> yeah, even the ones that say they're um they're pre-washed, I would still wash them. I wouldn't trust <laughs> I wouldn't trust somebody to wash it for me like that, buying them in the bag. But that's just me. It won't sit right with me. I won't be able to eat it and enjoy it. That's one of the reasons you all, I like to cook my own food too. Because I'm saying you know exactly what's going on. Amen, Kathleen. And I worked in the restaurant. I know I know some of the stuff that's going back there. And I ain't going to talk about it. So that's why I be the way I am about certain things. But when you're making your own food, you know exactly what's happening to it. And those bad greens, they be full of stems. I, they put a little, they, <laughs> they give you a little greens with your stems. They should call it stem. Uh, <laughs> they should call it stem. <laughs> you want some greens with your stems? So that's what you're getting. A bag of them. Yeah. And that's just true when you think about it. I mean, that's why I appreciate those that, like, actually enjoy eating my cooking at church. I mean, I know somebody got to be the cook. But believe it or not, you all, I don't even cook with my hair on. <laughs> I have my hair tied up. And um, I just treat the food how I would treat my food, how I treat my own food. You know. If anything, I'm extra more careful. Okay. That's going to be it for me with these greens, honey. Use the bad greens. Yes, Deborah. My kids eat everything that I eat. They eat stuff I don't eat. Like, for example, I don't like uh, sweet potatoes, candy yams, whatever you want to call them. I don't like them. But my kids like them, especially Layla. Um, as I've gotten older, I don't care for chitterlings, but my oldest daughter likes them. So I cook them for her. And I, you know, I'll have a little bit, but she's the reason that I even still cook chitterlings. And then I'm not a macaroni and cheese fan, but my kids are. <laughs> so they eat stuff that I don't care about and that I could live without. I don't care about this stuff. Okay, we got some nice fresh greens, honey. Let me get my pan. Are good. Yeah, I don't. I don't care for that stuff. It's 
sweet potatoes. That's why when me and Maggie made that butternut squash recipe, I was I was a little hesitant because I know I don't like I don't like sweet potatoes. I don't like none of that. I just don't like it. I'll cook it and I can cook it, but I just don't like it at all. All right. Some of y'all just gonna have to go on down the drain, sweetheart, because I'm not doing all that. I made yams with my prime rib. Ooh, prime rib. Man, you eating good, girl. You are eating good. I love prime rib. So delicious. I know they are healthy. The stuff that's good for us, we, you know, at least the stuff that I know is good for me, I don't like to eat a lot of. I don't know if I ever eat sweet potatoes though. Ever, ever, ever. I don't know. Maybe I will. I'll never say never though, because you just never know. I know with my age, uh, with me getting older and stuff like that, some things have changed. So maybe that'll change. Because there's stuff I used to have to have that I don't have to have. All right, it's saying 29 minutes. What did I put it at, y'all? I put it at 48. So I'm gonna give this a few more minutes while that's uh, cooking a little more, only because our meat is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some other things on the stove. What am I making? Rice, I'm making smothered chicken, macaroni and cheese. Let's see, let me get my rice pot. I can go ahead and get that going. We can get the rice out the way that we're not holding up this eye when I need it. Y'all know I cook with jasmine rice. Except when I make large quantities of chicken and rice, I actually use uh, the parboiled rice. That's what I use. Okay. I don't see anything right now. All right, let me grab. Ugh. I do not rinse my rice. And I like to make extra rice because Rice is something I like to keep in the fridge cold for either breakfast rice, fried rice, or just needing a side dish or a side of rice. And my girls love rice, so. I usually cook a little extra rice. I'm gonna need a little more of that. Let me not put that up. I'm trying to see if I see comments too while I'm doing what I'm doing. Y'all gotta concentrate. I'm pouring my oil in there. <laughs> I like to use this little bottle for my oil. I usually keep vegetable oil in this. That way it makes it easy for me. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Charmaine. I just put a little oil in there and I'm gonna put a little salt. That's it. And I'm gonna show y'all in this pot when we get ready to uh, open up this pressure cooker. All right, now I'm gonna add some water. You wanna add some extra flavor to your rice? Add some bay leaf. Add you some seasonings if you want to. So I can cook rice without measuring. <laughs> I just know how much water to put. I know how much rice and how much water. I've just been making it too long, y'all. I've been cooking 30 years. So it doesn't mean I know how to make everything right, but you know, certain things like this, you just got it down pat, honey. You could just look at it, eyeball it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 
Yes, I put vegetable oil in my rice. I do. And sometimes I put a little bay leaf and a little salt. Uh-huh, I do, I do. You should try it, honey. God, it smells so good. I really wish somebody had just come over here and smell it. Cause sometimes, you know, people think you just be exaggerating. And I know I can exaggerate a little bit, but I am being real too. It's this seasoning. That meat and this collard green, it smells so good. So our greens are ready to go into our pot. Hi, LaWanda, how are you, dear? And we're just bringing this to a boil. So we're about to open up this, let's see, 48. Let me give it a few more minutes. I don't wanna um, do it too soon. Oh, Christina, I'm so sorry, dear. <laughs> you haven't heard anything about your sister or you saying you miss your family in general? I'm just scrolling back up, you all. Okay, we use Mrs. Dash seasonings, no salt, and some things we use chicken, beef, or vegetable stock. Okay, Anthony, Mrs. Dash is good. But now y'all notice that a lot of uh, seasonings have jumped on board with the no salt. Y'all notice that now when you go to the store, you got it's a whole no salt section or salt free section. Anthony said, You coming? Come on. Now you was just talking about cooking with Mrs. Dash and all this and that, and now you want to come. I ain't cooking with Mrs. Dash. And, you know, <laughs> hey, Inga, <laughs> I'm not cooking with Mrs. Dash over here, okay? <laughs> so, I'm just letting you know. I got her up there, but that's where she stay. I think I was showing you all a couple of recipes. That's the only reason why I bought this stuff. There she is. They didn't took the miss off. They, did they change it, y'all, the dash? I thought it was Miss Dash. Am I saying it wrong? Huh. Let me see what my other one say. I just realized that thing just say Dash. <laughs> okay. Hold on, let me see. Oh, I don't got no more like that. I thought I had one more other Miss Dash or Dash. I guess I better stop saying Miss. I didn't know they changed it. Hi, Janine. Thank you so much. This being your first time ever seeing me live. <laughs> Make sure y'all turn on your notifications. Make sure you turn them on. Okay. We're about to open up this pressure cooker. It was called Miss Dash. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm just going to open this up. So those who are afraid of pressure cookers, you don't have to be afraid. Um... I'm gonna turn it to where it's not directly under my cabinet. And we're just gonna use a little thing here and just do that. Yeah, cause mine says dash. So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they got divorced, she got divorced. So she just dash instead of missing. So. <laughs> Everybody getting a divorce. <laughs> Even the seasoning. <laughs> Woo! He said it's not miss. No longer miss. I'm free. <laughs> Robin said no sound. I'm, she gonna have to go out and come back in. Can y'all hear me? Or did my sound go out? All right, let's look at this. Y'all up close and personal, look at that. Mm. Aisha, somebody have out here fake pages stating you giving away. Yeah, Yvonne, but you know, y'all have to just report that stuff. Ain't nothing I can do about it. And I'm not paying for no blue check. Period. I'm legit without the check. So y'all just got to understand I only have one cooking page. One. 
This is my only cooking page. I have Life with Aisha. I have my regular profile. I've never done any type of giveaways. So if you see that kind of stuff, don't be don't be fooled. Because they're going to try to fool you. I see all kind of stuff. Uh, when I'm using my name, child, I see all kind of stuff. I report it, report it, and they ain't did nothing about it. It's a whole YouTube channel making money off my videos. A whole YouTube channel. This girl posts my videos. Every time I post them, she posts them. She take my video and post it. So, it is what it is. All right. We about to open this up. And with the fresh food, you got to give it time to, to let that steam out, the pressure out. Hey, dear. Who is that? Miss Butler. Hey, Miss Butler. <laughs> hey, Barbara. I didn't even see you, Miss Ramsey. It's good to see you. All right, my rice trying to boil a little bit, so I'm going to put the... I said, I ain't never paid it no mind. I know that's right, Yvonne. Don't pay it no mind. You definitely bought it out of her. What'd you say? You definitely brought it to her. I said, yeah, it's Dash. I, and I literally just realized it when we was looking at the seasons. That's the funny part about it. Yep, she, hey, she did that. They did that slick on the slide. She got that divorce, honey, ain't said nothing. Okay, this is unlocked, so it's not all out yet hold on y'all almost you too uh christina dear enjoy the rest of your day almost all right i'm just turning my rice down and i'm about to cover it Mm -mm. There we go. Good Lord. Hey, Monique. <sighs> That's a lot of pressure. trying to help it. <clears throat> Your mama said no blue tick for me. Yeah, I'm not paying for that. Ciao. Nothing against those who play for the pay for their blue thing. Don't get that twisted. I'm just not paying for that. I'm not doing that. You know, another thing I do want to say this. I don't like that they have it where people can purchase a, a check mark because the verification is for a reason. And you have to have so much media presence to be able to get a verification mark. They have actually stipulations and things like that. So it just seems like a slap in the face to the people who have earned their blue checks. It's the same thing like the reason why I don't call myself a chef. It's not that I can't, but I didn't go to school. I didn't put in all the years of schooling and all the training to, to earn that title. Just like me calling my, myself Dr. Aisha, but I ain't went to school to be a doctor. So it's not that I haven't earned my way as cooking with Aisha, but I take pride in being a home cook. And when I get a blue verification mark, it's going to be for whatever I earned it for. So that's all I want to say about that. So I just got a problem with that. Now wait a dog on a minute. Okay, well, we can't rush it. It's just going to take its pole of time, but it's almost there. Deborah said, I fixed a baked ham, collard greens, mac and cheese, cornbread, deviled eggs, and sweet potato pie. All right. Run cold water over it and it will cool quickly for you. Thank you, Charlene. I'll put that in my back pocket. What you cooking, Christina? 
Yolanda said, in my opinion, I could be completely wrong. About what, Yolanda? About what, Yolanda? Hey, Miyoshi. It's good to see you. I've never known this thing to take this long. It's probably because I'm sitting here on this live and it don't want to open for y'all. Thank you, Tina. It's almost there. I see it. Come on. It's like right there. Oh, that that subscription for the blue tick is all about money, but I could be complete. Oh yeah, absolutely. Or else it wouldn't be they wouldn't be charging what fifty what is it, fourteen or fifteen dollars a month? Yolanda said, I didn't cook. Someone else cooked. Oh, that's good. That's a blessing, Yolanda. I'm so glad somebody blessed you with a plate. Paris. Yeah, and I'm patient, but I'm telling you all, if I wasn't on this live, this thing don't take this long. Y'all know how this stuff goes. Okay. While that's doing that, I know what I could be doing. Oh, steak tips and scallops. Sounds good, Christina. Yeah, Yolanda, I'm not. Like I said, people that want to do it, you go right on ahead. It's available. Yolanda and that's really sad sometimes when people feel that they are looked over and if that's the way to be noticed they jump on it without thinking what you um, what people would do for pub yeah publicity it's all about what you what, what's the purpose that so we've talked about that just knowing the purpose of why you're doing something um, Janice said, I wish I could have cooked for the people that didn't cook today. Miyoshi, and I did check your email and I read it. So I just <laughs> have to respond. I saw it about your boutique. I did. Oh, that's why I buy cucumbers when I know I'm going to use them. I actually forgot those were in the Paris. Cowboy fix, baked chicken, cheese, potatoes, fresh greens, green. Fresh, oh, fresh green and blackened peas. Dessert, sweet potato pie. I wish I could. I'm serious. I wish I could feed some people. Oh, the Tifa. It was my fault, y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all what I did. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. That's all I'm going to say. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> I knew something.
something was up. I told y'all this thing don't take that long, didn't I? It's something I did. It ain't it ain't the pressure cooker. Lord Jesus. I don't even believe that. All right, well, I can pull out my macaroni. Hey, Aaliyah. Michelle, you want elbow macaroni, rotini, or shell? Elbow? Okay. Just had fruit. So what is it? It's in here. If it's a piece done, I'll give it to you. Alana, I'm trying to get it open now, sweetheart. Christine said I want to make wings and artichoke spinach dip. Oh yeah, that sounds good. I made baked chicken wings. Wing beans, mashed potatoes, fresh, fresh, I meant to say fresh string beans. Okay. All your meals sound delicious. No, it's locked because it was on you all, but <laughs> so you know at the top you have pressure or steam and you have to line it up when you turn it on. Well, when I turned the knob, I wasn't paying attention and it, I put it on steam. So instead of it letting out so that we could open it up, <laughs> it started to steam. So I had to turn it so that we can get it open. It's coming though. Now it's actually letting it out and not still cooking. So I wasn't going to say nothing, you know. I wasn't gonna say nothing. Cause I knew I wasn't crazy. I'm like, this thing would not. Come on, unlock for us. Okay, field trip. Let's go get the chicken. <laughs> sorry, guys. I really am sorry about that. Like, y'all know I wouldn't intentionally do that to y'all. Especially when... Hey, calm down and pick up all this stuff you got on your floor. Pick those toys up. All right, y'all. I'm going to grab this chicken because it's out here. And then... Marlon said it's called getting older. I'm old at 40. Woo child. I'm old, y'all. Oh. I'm glad I don't feel old since I am old. That's a blessing. I made baked chicken, sweet potatoes, and string beans and cornbread. That sounds very delicious. Very delicious. All right, so I got some chicken wings and some whole. I got chicken wings and legs. I don't know which one I'm gonna do, so I need to figure that out for the smothered chicken. Let me get those seasoned up. This thing is still like. almost 50. I think 50 is young. 
in my opinion. I think it's just all about how people carry themselves. You take care of yourself. Hopefully you won't feel your age, whatever that's supposed to feel like. If I show it on feel 40, praise God. Thank God for my health. Thank you, Yvonne. Yeah, I'm just going to smother this chicken. I'm going to fry the chicken, and then I'm just going to make a gravy. And I'm going to smother that chicken into that gravy. And um, that's going to be that. Make that macaroni. We gotta get these greens in here, y'all. Let me wash my hands again. I think it's ready. Really? I just knew it was ready. It's almost ready then. <clears throat> It got quiet. So for those who don't use a pressure cooker or never use a pressure cooker, it does not normally take that long. <laughs> so I just put mine on steam. It takes a few minutes, but it doesn't take that long. So don't be discouraged or dismayed. Patricia said she turned 55 yesterday. Happy belated birthday, Patricia. I'm looking forward to any year I make it to. <laughs> That's why I don't like I don't care being about being called no grandma, none of that child. When you know, when you've been close to death so many times, you just be glad to be alive. You don't be caring about none of that foolishness. You done had health scares and all kind of stuff. You just stuff don't matter to you like that. Your priorities change. <laughs> Experience will change your priorities and your perspective on life. That's what it do. But I told you I've been called grandma all my life. <laughs> all my life, I have been called grandma. A grandma. I dress like a grandma. I act like a grandma. <laughs> I act like an old lady. <clears throat> and I took it as a compliment. Okay. Put that there for a second. I just don't be more believe this thing still doing that. Other. I'm gonna say y'all. So I'm gonna season up my chicken, and I wanted, I wanted wings or legs. I didn't want thighs and none of that. So let me get my. The rice is done. Y'all see this rice? Uh -huh. I told y'all. I'm like a human rice cooker. Uh -huh. It's done. But I've done it so many times, so it's not a big deal. So we can move that. So I'm just going to season my chicken. Okay, 
this. I didn't like you ready. Now y'all want to open? Okay. I'll just wait. All right, I'm gonna use some seasonal. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put a little more than that though. I'm gonna use a little bit of my adobo and just some garlic. And then I am going to batter this chicken. Oh, that adobo smells good. And I'm going to fry it. Once I get these greens in this pot that don't wanna open. I'm gonna tell y'all, the devil been busy lately. He been busy. <sighs> but it's okay, because he got the right one. The right one. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Let's grab a tongue, because I want y'all to see this meat. So, I'm going to probably get that for Alana. This turkey, as you can see, it's not all the way tender, tender, but it is getting there. So, that's why I put these in. You can see it's coming apart here. That's why I put my meat in first and let it cook as long as I did, about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. And then I add in my greens. Because my greens only going to take 40, 40 to 45 minutes. Like I said, really 35 minutes is good. But I'm going to put my on for the 45 minutes today. So I need some more. And just add those in like that. And y'all probably seen my reels and stuff. I have videos and reels showing how to make greens, but in the um, pressure cooker. Get all your greens in there, honey. We have to make sure we have enough liquid in our pot so you don't need a whole lot of liquid but you need enough to um first i'm gonna put a little more on my seasons that green seasoning is the bomb see mine by gone <laughs> And I got some more chicken broth. You could use water. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was open already. God, babe. This thing's so hard to open. And I'm just going to pour that chicken broth over the top. And you can put whatever else you want to put in there. Sometimes I do put a little butter in mine. I am going to add some oil in mine because I like to put oil in my greens. That's enough of that. I use about half of that chicken broth. And I'm going to put some oil in my grains. And that's it. We're going to cover these up. And when y'all see how perfect these greens come out, I promise you're going to make them in the pressure cooker. Like, they are really good in the pressure cooker. All right, I got it on pressure. This time when I uh, go to check it, well, I'm going to make sure <laughs> that I'm not putting it on... Um, Again. I've never done that before, so it's ironic. Okay, that's that, and you can set that, and it's good to go. The rice is done. I'm about to batter this chicken. We need oil. I can move the rice out the way. Only other thing is the macaroni, which I could put a pot of 
um, put y'all right here. I could put a pot on for the macaroni and boom. Oh Lord, Jesus. Louisiana soul. By the way, <laughs> this is a good seasoning. <laughs> this is one of my favorites actually, the uh, lemon pepper. Oh, but don't scare me, honey, don't scare me. All right, we done with all of this. I got enough seasoning for my chicken. I'm gonna fry my chicken in this pot so I can um, do more at one time. I got my double deep fryer outside. I just, I don't feel like dealing with that. And my other deep fryer is too small to get more chicken done at one time. So we just gonna roll this pot. We need that green. Yes, you need that green seasoning, but I'm, I'm going to have to figure out. Uh, it's a local company, so that's the only thing about the green seasoning. They're local, so I'm not really sure how you can get it. So um, I actually sent somebody some that, uh, that was asking me about that green seasoning. Let me get me a... Uh, Yeah, I mailed somebody some of that seasoning because I know it's local. I think they're in uh, Chipley, Chipley, Florida. So I'm about to just toss these wings. Somebody, I feel like in my spirit, somebody said, where's the mustard? So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that out. <laughs> I heard you through the internet spiritual internet put a little bit of that in there too and we're gonna get these coated y'all know i love my mustard <laughs> what you thought was gonna happen what did you think hey dear your thing went by so fast danico hey hey i ain't seen you in like forever forever danico I use the green seasonings that you, yes, that's good too, Tabitha. That's the one. That is the one. This is a glove, y'all, I'm struggling with this glove. My hands are a little wet, a little damp, so they're barely going on. Give me a hard time. Um, Alana, did you clean up that floor? Why aren't you done? Well, what are you doing? Oh, Bella keeps, oh, you blaming it on Bella? Okay. All right, you all. I'm just battering up this chicken. Normally I like to have my chicken marinated at least for a day or two, but I really couldn't decide. For one, I switched my meal up. I put the duck back in the freezer. I know at first I was gonna make smothered duck. So I had took the duck out and thawed it out. And then, I don't know, something just changed yesterday. I said, hmm, I'm gonna do smothered chicken instead. So here we are. So I'm never scared to switch it up. And that's how we got the smothered chicken. So no big deal. At all. So the chicken is nice and seasoned. I'm gonna use this pan and I'm just gonna wipe it out. We use this for our little greens. I'm gonna wipe this out and I'm gonna add some flour in here. I'm gonna season it and we'll coat our chicken in that. right here. Seems like something looks foggy, doesn't it? I don't know if it was that. Maybe it's just looking foggy to me. 
You can, yes, you can refreeze meat. I don't know of any meat you can't refreeze. Um, I don't know. Now, I don't like to refreeze seafood. That was the reason why um, I went on and did that snapper because when I initially purchased it, I put it in the freezer. So once I thawed it out, I went on and cooked it. I don't like to refreeze seafood. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure you could probably do it. I know they do it at the store. They be talking about fresh, acting like they haven't, you know, refreeze that meat. Actually, I was actually told by one of the butchers that they do that actually. <laughs> so when they say fresh, never frozen, they not telling us the truth about everything, but we already know that because we have common sense. We know these people aren't telling us the truth all the time, or most of the time, or half the time. I'm washing my cutting board because I'm doing some onions for my smothered chicken. But I got the oil on, so we'll be ready to drop that chicken in in just a second. Child, this thing keeps falling. I see why it's falling now. The Italian seasoning is pushing it every time I open this cabinet. We're going to put you down here out of the way so you don't keep falling. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of my adobo. And that's all I need for my um, seasoning here. It has all of those ingredients in it, including pepper. It has black pepper in it. That's the adobo. Uh oh, that's the adobo with pepper. Let me show y'all this because people always be asking me about this adobo. So this is my favorite, the Goya adobo, but without the pepper. So this is the one I love to use. That's why it's empty, but I have to keep it up there so to remind myself to get some more. So every time I open a cabinet, I can see. But I also use the one with pepper. So both good, but the other one is my favorite. So as you can see, it has the stuff in it, but they're both delicious nonetheless. Now, and your flour, you can add whatever you want, paprika and all that stuff. I don't be doing all that because my chicken, the color comes out just fine without that. So, I know that paprika is to help give you a darker uh, look to your chicken. I'm just gonna go the easy way with this. And get our chicken nice and coated. I gotta see where my daughter is too. That's enough for now, let's move this over. Child saying, I don't see no comments. Y'all, this gonna be so good. I've been wanting some smothered chicken. I really have. It's just something about it. Mm. Especially if it's cooked right, child. I guess that's anything though. Anything cooked right is good, you know. 
Makes you feel good on the inside. Do you and your daughter, do, did you and your daughter on a cruise not long ago? No, Linda, I did not. Now, I do have a daughter that's grown, that's been moved out. So, she probably doing some stuff. <laughs> but I don't know. Not me and my daughter, no. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. That sounds like something Layla would do. I actually don't want to be on no cruise boat now. I, I'll do something right on the coast, but I'm ain't nobody taking me out in no water now, no ocean. And I do know how to swim. But I just, uh-uh. I have no desire to do that <laughs> whatsoever. So. Absolutely not. And it's like we're in a time now, it seems like every time you turn around, even the things that used to be meant for fun, it's something tragic happening. Y'all heard about the person who just fell? Uh, it's been a couple of people. One person just fell and died on a cruise ship, fell off the balcony or something. Another person went jumped off the cruise ship into the ocean and drowned. Um, so it's always something. Um, she looked just like me. Yeah, I have people mistaking me for other people. Like, for real, when I first moved here, well, not here, I was in uh, Huntsville. And they kept thinking I was this news lady, but I don't know what news lady they was talking about. <laughs> but they used to think I was the news lady at the grocery store. I'm like, you that lady? I said, no, I'm not. I don't, I don't do the news, so. <laughs> but I think I have a kind of a maybe a common look, maybe a basic look, kind of. But I do see people that look like that we look alike. I ain't gonna say they look like me, but we look kind of similar. I see that myself and it's really weird. Okay, we're gonna come over here. I don't usually fry in this pan, but you know, I ain't never scared to do something different for this over some. Gotta cut up these onions. So once we get that chicken in, I got to cut up these onions and peppers. So we'll come back over here. Let me get that and this and my knife. I'm gonna do some peppers also. And we can do the macaroni. How long I been on here, y'all? Thank you for the stars. I didn't know y'all had sent me no stars. I can't see the time. Who can see her? and tell me? Hey, life with Rob. <laughs> oh, that was early, wasn't it? Hold on. My thing went all the way to the beginning. Hold on, y'all. Okay, there we go. Hey, Alicia. Hi, Denise from Georgia. Sabrina said, this is absolutely awesome that you are doing this live today. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you for being here, Sabrina. How are you? <laughs> One hour and 23 minutes? Okay, so when I started, you all, because I told y'all I can make this in two hours. Okay, so when I started, I was cutting greens, though. Okay, so... So take away the time that I cut and cut and wash the grains. When I started cooking, I told you I can make this whole meal. So I'm doing good on time. We'll take the 23 minutes off. So I have one hour to complete this, which I will have it done. All right, macaroni. I will have it done. All right, I'm gonna put this water on for the macaroni. The rice is done. We're gonna get this chicken going. Once we fry up this chicken, I'm gonna make that gravy. And then by that time, the greens will be done and everything will be complete. I got some Hawaiian rolls. That's how we're rolling. For those who want the bread, I'm gonna do a little bit more water. So we're going to get this pot on so we can get our macaroni going. I am doing a stove top. Well, I may bake it. I'll see what they want. It don't matter, though. We'll do a bake. 
We'll do a bake. It's gonna take a little longer, but guess what? If I get it on, I can have it done and under my two hour mark. Cause I don't bake my uh, macaroni for hours and 45, 50 minutes. We ain't gotta do all that. Okay. So the oil is just about hot. I can tell. Let me get my baking dish for the macaroni. Let me get my baking dish for the macaroni. Yesterday, my dinner was oxtail. Oh, okay, now oxtail, collard greens, cabbage. Oh, collard green and cabbage, kidney beans, and rice, cornbread, and sweet. Oh, right, you had an amazing meal. Every time I come on, I speak a minute, and my feelings no speak back ever. Hi, Lorraine, this is my first time seeing you. <laughs> but hello, don't get in your feelings if I don't speak to you. Thank you, Therese. I hear that often, believe it or not. Um, yeah, don't get upset if I don't speak back because I don't see people ha more than half the time. I promise you. I don't know anybody to not speak to anybody. So. And y'all know me. So if I if I love on those who say bad stuff, you know I'm going to love on you all that actually support me. But I was thinking about how uh, there just been some things going on. And, you know, how I was thinking about how stupid the devil is. He is so stupid because he don't even realize when when he be using people to think they doing something to you. Not you, Miss Ma'am. I'm talking about some other stuff going on. But he be trying to use people to do stuff to you. And and, they, and he helping you because for the people of God, God calls all things to work together for the good of them who love him and who are called according to his purpose. So when the devil think he doing something, you just coming out on top because it's helping you to be a better Christian. That's all it's doing. It's causing you to draw closer to God. That's why he's stupid. <laughs> he's helping us be close to God. Why he's thinking he's trying to do something to hurt us. All right. I don't know if I should. I ain't trying to do too much of my time. Is that kitty? So the interesting thing is, I don't even know if I have a fried chicken in this pot. <laughs> I'm just putting this other chicken in this batter, you all. I'm going to kind of make sure that So we got that going. So we're going to let that cook. And we're going to come over here. And I'm going to chop up these onions. Let me go ahead and toss this other chicken. Have not Frederica. I can't wait to see those golden wings. Yes, Teresa. I ain't never used that pot, but we gonna see. <laughs> they ain't gonna be burnt though. 
Oh, this glove. When your hand is moist, it's hard to get these gloves on. Hey, John. <laughs> yeah, Patricia, I like that pot too. I love it as a matter of fact. All right, I'm just coating the rest of these wings. That way when I take those out, um, these will be ready to go in. When I cook on the stove, I cook my, my chicken a little lower, lower and slower. <laughs> Cause I don't like no burnt chicken and I don't like it to be too hard and you know, you want it crispy, but not, I don't like extra crispy. And I like a nice even color. I'm just trying to go back y'all for your comments. Hey, Marsha. Christina said, love that pan. I did send, I think 300 stars. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate it. I just love my chicken tips. Me too, Susan. Hey, Therese. Thank you, Gina, girl. This is, I ain't never even wore this dress. The dress I got out the closet that I used to order dresses all the time offline. Um, I was telling y'all about that site. This is one of them dresses I ordered from years ago. I just got so many little dresses in there. I need to start wearing them again. Like I used to. You know how you have your little favorite stuff you wear? I need to pull out some other stuff, though, that I got in there. Because I wear the little same stuff over and over again. And then I feel bad about it because I got too much stuff in there. Maybe I need to get some more stuff away instead of letting it just sit there. All right. All the wings are nice and coated. That way... And we're going to check. We're going to turn these wings over. Uh-oh. Sorry, you all. I'm trying to do that and hold this in my hand at the same time. I'm just turning them all over on the back. There we go. That one got flipped over. All right, so they're looking good. Definitely smelling good. There's the rice. This is our water for the uh, macaroni, which I'm going to put in there in just a minute. And I'm going to cut these peppers. <clears throat> I need... Yeah, Gina, I don't know where I got that spoon from. Probably Home Goods. Knowing me, it was Home Goods. We got 33 more minutes on that. On our, uh, whatchamacallit. Don't they look good? They smell good. And see, that's the kind of pot, it's going to ensure you a, a nice crispy wing. It's like my smaller uh, pan that I use. It's over there in the drainer. No, it's not. It's over there somewhere. Or maybe in the dishwasher. But because of how those pans are made, they make your food, you know, it's going to be crispy when you're frying something. Let me put this stuff. In their little trash bag. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little pepper in my um, gravy. I do rinse everything off, so we'll do that. Mm 
including my onion. I thought I saw, yeah, a sticker. Thank you for the hearts. Any interaction, whether you like and share, any interaction helps you all. I appreciate you. All right, so we got our peppers and onions rinsed off. So now we are going to get them cut up. That way, when it's time to make this gravy, let's go check our chicken. When it's time to make the gravy, we'll already have it. Let's see the wings. I like gravy. I mean, um, I like onions in my gravy. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Let's see if I can see your comments too. And if you don't like onions or stuff in your gravy, you know you can leave that out. I actually like to eat onions, so I don't even just use it for flavor. I like to eat them. They're really good. I like them cooked. I like them raw. I just love onions. I don't know if I'm going to use all this, but... At least I'll have them already cut. The onions make the gravy. Yeah, it do. <laughs> it do to me. And I'm just going to chop up. I'm going to cut them like that. I don't want them small. I'm going to chop up some of my peppers for my gravy. And I know, now I do love the flavor that the green peppers add to the uh, gravy. I do like that. And then I'm going to add our red pepper. And I don't want them small, so I'm just kind of drooling in and then just cutting them in half. Bloop and bloop. All right. My elbow macaroni. It's not boiling yet, but that's okay. I 
think I'm going to invent a candle that smells like my cooking because my house stays smelling like food, y'all. It does. All right, I'm about to take these out. They done. We're doing a little float dance. You got your number. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's a really nice one, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. All right, now, I told you all we needed to be ready to go, okay? That's why I want to have that chicken already battered. Can't leave your grease. I used to be a waitress, so my daughter always asked me, how do you balance like that just from waitressing? Literally. <laughs> We're gonna have to fit the rest of y'all in here. All right, there we go. That's all I keep on. I see it, I see it. All right, you gotta be careful with your second batch of chicken because you don't want your chicken to, I like to turn my temperature down a little bit when I put the next batch in because I don't want the flour that has settled from the last chicken to make this chicken black or dark, so I'll say dark. So I just was adjusting that temperature. I'm gonna let So it'll, cook, it'll cook a little slower and still get crispy. But it helps to avoid that. There's our first chicken wings. So they didn't do too bad for that pot. Hmm. It didn't do bad. All right, now this macaroni over here. Oh, it smells good. I got those bay leaves. You all know I added two bay leaves in this in our pasta. It gives it that flavor. It smells so good. It's trying to stick a little bit, but that's okay. All right, 23 minutes for that. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, they turned out pretty good. I normally don't cook them in that pot or fried chicken in that pot. Thank you, Bernice. All right, Caprice. Thank you, dear. Thanks, Frederick. Frederica, sorry. Where did you get the pan? Um, I got this pan from Home Goods. Home Goods. Okay. My phone is being weird. Thank you for telling me about getting the pot. Okay. It's okay here. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Did Alana clean up those toys like I told her to? Alright, so let me go ahead and pull out these keys so I can tell y'all what we're doing. Aaliyah. Michelle. Do you want your keys? I mean, do you want your. Um, do you want that macaroni? What am trying to say? Do you want it baked or 
You want it, babe? Okay. Let me show you how this. I got Gouda. I'm gonna show them right now. I got uh. All right, y'all. So I got sharp cheddar. I have mozzarella, provolone, and I have Gouda. So my plan for the macaroni is probably just gonna be Gouda and sharp cheddar. And I intentionally got the slices. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll leave those out. I may put a little bit of that in there. Okay. So we'll have to make our cheese sauce. Cheese sauce, you all, for the macaroni. All right, our wings are coming along just good, just fine. And it really doesn't matter how they turn out. I mean, they're turning out good, but I mean, they're going to be smothered anyway, so <laughs> it's not going to matter. <laughs> all right, I just turned my oven on since we're doing the baked macaroni. I'm going to move this. I figured she was going to want baked. That's why I pulled out that baking pan, honey. Alright, y'all. So we're going to get ready to make, uh, drain this and make this sauce. How y'all doing? Y'all hanging with me. I wasn't planning on staying. I wasn't planning on staying. But for those that may have already eaten or just don't have nothing to do i just decided to stay live for those people who just want to see me make my meal um i'm learning more and more that sometimes that's just the case so i understand some people have other things to do i totally get it <laughs> but for those who just want to watch i'm here i am here honey all right the block is this yes I, I yeah block cheese i didn't get blocked this time so i'm gonna have to work with what i got and i was looking but i'm telling you certain stores just gonna carry a lot of the things that you know i need so i actually have to go from different stores and i did carcinia <laughs> i wasn't even planning on it i plan to come live and talk to y'all for a second and hop off that was my plan. I'm going to take this out and make our sauce. Those wings are doing great. Okay. And they are almost ready. So let's turn this off. I'm going to drain this. Next one. This is when I take the bay leaves out. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a couple of bay leaves in there. <laughs> Perfect. Uh -huh. And you know, you gotta watch that macaroni. 
you don't want it to be overcooked. I'm gonna have to move this back. There we go. Come over here. And before I put that back on the stove, let me, because you know this is still hot. So let's pour some, at least some heavy cream. Uh oh, I spilled a little bit. a whole lot of macaroni so I don't want to make too much sauce oh thank you Michael how are you dear I haven't seen you maybe I have seen you that should be enough uh, cream for us to make our sauce And y'all know I go back and watch the replay, so if I miss your comment, please just don't don't be mad at me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do everything at one time. I can't see the, all the comments and respond and pay attention to what I'm doing. You just got to try it and you'll see. <laughs> I'm going to add a little butter. I'm adding my seasoning. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. This is just my uh, Greek all purpose, you all. That's all it is. Greek all purpose. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Shanti, I see you there. Uh, oh, here it is. All right, so I'm going to turn this to where, uh, this is this other eye, y'all, so I need it to where it's not boiling, but it's just going to be able to melt down our cheese that we're going to add in. So some of the slices I'm adding here so we can melt it down, and some of them, and that's why it's basically like the block for this slice. So it's the actual cheese and not the um you know pasteurized or anything it's it's just so many smells going on so many smells it smells so good in here So some of the cheese I'm gonna layer and some I'm just gonna um, you know, layer in our macaroni and some I'm gonna put in here so that we can get our cheese sauce mixed throughout our noodles, but also have that extra cheese. Does Instapot work like pressure? Oh, I'm not sure. Hey, watching from Anguilla. Hi, my darling. Thank you for being here. So I'm just gonna add this in. This is the this is the gouda. Anybody like gouda cheese? Gouda. You wanna add some of that gouda, honey? And you can break it up. You can do what you wanna do. It's gonna melt all the same. So we got our gouda there. Let's get our sharp cheddar. Yeah, Marcia like the uh. It's the cheese that comes pre-wrapped, or it's already wrapped. That's the cheese I was talking about. So this to me is like cheese cut off the block. So, but I do prefer to get the block cheese. And this is just sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar. But you'll see how it melts. All right. 
I'm gonna do that for now. Oh, I have my mozzarella. We'll wait. I'm not gonna do the mozzarella. Yeah, you want a piece of chicken? You want to split a piece with Bella? Get some chicken done. Aaliyah, come here. I got the camera time. You can come in. Can you, um, uh, I got time. Can you grab a piece of chicken and, and give Bella a little piece? doing all this. <laughs> all right, you all. Once these munchkins get out of here. <laughs> you can have a piece too if you want one. You got more than one. Just split it. Like, let them have. And then if they want another one, they can come get another one. But just let me know beforehand. Alana, you want to grab one now or what? Okay, we'll go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kids, kids, kids. You gotta feed the kids while you're cooking. All right, this chicken is just about done. We're gonna melt this cheese on down. Can see? Let's see if I see anything. All you gotta do is stir it. Treat it with love. It's gonna start breaking down, and it's gonna get all nice and creamy. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I missed some. Yes, yeah, the Instapot. Okay. Somebody said the Instapot and the pressure cooker works the same. I don't know because I don't have an Instapot, but somebody answered. Somebody said they like Gouda. I use Gouda in my mac and cheese. That was the uh, the oven, you all. Let me know it's ready. Deborah said, yes, ma'am. I enjoy watching you. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, I think I saw that already. And thank you for sharing, Deborah. You are a sharer. I know. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You helped my post reach by sharing. So it's going to blend together as it's melting down. So you don't have to worry about that. Of course, you need more cheese. But fear not because I have plenty. <laughs> I have a whole lot. So we're going to add... More sharp. Okay. And I got the most sharp. And some most sharp. Thank you, Juwan. It's almost done. It is almost done. So what I will do is, and that chicken is good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all this. We're going to put that in the oven, right? I'm going to take that chicken out. I'm going to make the gravy and put the chicken back in the gravy. The collard greens are almost done. I'll be able to show you all that. So the last thing will be the macaroni and cheese. But what I'll do is I'll get off live, but I'll come back. You know, I'll show you all a plate. I'll take a picture once that macaroni is done. Okay, that way we're not just sitting. Unless the Lord says otherwise. <laughs> But other than that, I plan to get off you all once we uh make this gravy. What you need, sweetheart? Can you and Bella watch what? What's on now? Oh yeah. Thank you. I love cheese. I love cheese. <laughs> yes, she may have a piece of cheese. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see how long she's going to want to hug and kiss me all the time. Uh, hey, how are you doing? What are you cooking today? Hey, Marianne, I'm doing well. How are you? I am uh, making smothered chicken, macaroni and cheese, rice, collard greens, and gravy. And I got this pot from Home Goods. 
somebody was asking where I got the pot from. Thank you all for hopping on. Somebody said they got something from Walmart, pot from Walmart. This one I got from TJ Maxx, I know that. The one I'm cooking in here, this one I got from Walmart. I mean, <laughs> TJ Maxx Home Goods. But y'all got me saying Walmart. All right, let's grab our pan to put our chicken in. Oh my God. Oh, when I eat this mother chicken, I'm just gonna chow. I ain't gonna say take a nap because it's already evening. <laughs> but I go to bed early, so I'm gonna have to sit up a little bit after I eat this, this gravy and rice and stuff. So this pot works very well for frying. Now we know. Oh, the chicken looks good. Ooh. Came out good. Ooh, child, it's hot. Trying to get on my finger. Uh -uh. Oh, no, you don't. All of the chicken came out wonderful, y'all. Mm. I'm going to sit that behind this right quick so y'all can get a better look. Because I know that wasn't a good enough look. <laughs> so there's the other chicken. It smells amazing. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now. I'm gonna use this same pot, but we're gonna pour this oil in something. So I'm gonna find something to pour this oil in, which I have something right here. Oh, I need this. Let me put that up there. Alright. Y'all see that cheese? Y'all see it? Oh, nice and creamy. Do you see it? I'm going to add a little bit more, y'all. I wish I can give you peace, Kelly, and I ain't even playing. I mean that. All right. We're going to let that cheese melt down. What am I doing, y'all? Oh, pouring this oil. So we're going to keep all that flavor in this pot. Let me get my pot holders. I'm going to pour the oil into another pot until it cools. And then we're gonna make our gravy in this pot. in there <laughs> we're gonna use that to our advantage okay that's what we're about to do I'm gonna add a little oil and butter I'm gonna turn this on a medium heat I gotta wipe it hold on y'all let me wipe right here let's just make this gravy <laughs> I'll put some butter in there. Mom, can I have another? What you want? Cheese? Yeah, but open it's, it's turned. This it's in the pot right here. They can't see me. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you see the camera? Mm -hmm. oh, it's in the pot. Oh, you ain't got your glasses on, Chef. All right, so I'm putting some oil and butter in this pot. That's good. Y'all need that. You want, here, I'll give you a piece of shirt. You want sharp or provolone? Your favorite is in here. You want provolone? I want it similar to the one I just had. That's sharp cheddar. Sharp. 
It's your last sharp cheddar because I have to have cheese for the macaroni and cheese. Okay, I want another wing. Chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken wing. 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 Chicken my thing is too tight. Okay, you all. I'm about to add in some onion. <laughs> onion and pepper. Onion. 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 Alright, baby, you want another piece of chicken? Oh, yeah. Oh, you not going to want to eat some of the chicken when it's time to eat. Oh, yeah. You want to eat some of the chicken? Here, let me get it. Here, you take that. Okay, y'all, that's the pressure cooker, so I'm going to go ahead and tap this thing. Alana, come get some cheese. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Trying to get them situated too. Okay, so we're going to saute these peppers. Okay, y'all. 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 Okay,
Mm-hmm. And it's gonna get thick real quick, so you better have you some water or something nearby. I'm just gonna stir, stir in the rest of the chicken broth. I may have some more in the refrigerator, but I gotta get some water real quick. What's she doing? Huh? All right, so just start it in. And it's gonna thicken up. We're gonna add more, because we're gonna need it. Don't worry about the color right now. We can fix all that in a minute. We just first need to get our gravy right. To the right consistency. I'm gonna add, go ahead and add a little bit more water because I know I'm gonna need more flour. And I'm just gonna let that blend well first. <clears throat> um, who knows the brand of this pot? Is it the palms? Is that that's the palms pot, isn't it, y'all? I think it's the palms. I'm going ahead and doing a little more flour because now I can. Add more. And it really just depends on how much gravy you're making. Taco. I'm sorry, I opened that window and you smell all that chicken. You smell the chicken? I'm sorry, y'all. I haven't really been able to look at your comments as much at this moment. All right, let's give that a minute. And while that's blending together, let's check our, uh, I'm gonna bring y'all over here to check these greens. This flower out the way. Of course, it opened right up <laughs> like it's supposed to this time. I told y'all I don't be taking that long. Alright, this where's our spoon. This is our spoon for the greens. I want y'all to see in it before I even do anything. I'm gonna let y'all see. You all I told y'all, look at them greens. Let me see if I can set y'all up so I can stir in. Y'all can see. Look, the meat has fallen apart. I told you I can't even get it. it. Look, there's the bone. The meat then fell off the bone for the turkey. Like I told y'all, these are just bones. I might as well take the bone out. Just... <laughs> so you know that meat's tender. Something to put this bone on. Smells delicious. There's another bone. Whew. And those were turkey wings, but another bone. feel it. Where is it? There it is. So we pressure cook. I pressure cooked the greens for um, 45 minutes. I pressure cooked the turkey first for uh, it actually ended up being what 38 minutes y'all either 38 or 48 minutes, but it was on accident. Normally you can do about 40 minutes and you're good to go. There's also some um, salt pork in there. So salt pork and turkey wings. I feel another bomb. Good Lord. <laughs> well, there's the tip. <laughs> so that meat has come off too. So they're nice and, I know they're tender. I'm gonna taste a little, a little bite. I know they're good. But let's just taste them. Mm hmm I 
Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Y'all, I'm gonna just let that sit right there. Oh, that's so good. Well, I'm gonna cover that up because now I'm getting excited. Let me bring this over here. <laughs> Let's uh, combine our noodles. I sure hope that that's not too much, but it shouldn't be. I know what I'm gonna do to ensure we don't overdo it. I'm gonna bring it all back. And I will combine the, uh, I'm gonna get a bowl. Do it this way. You see that cheese sauce? I just want to make sure that I don't want to do too much because it's going in the oven. That was perfect, child. I almost messed that up. <laughs> Let me also taste that to make sure we have enough seasoning. We're going to add more cheese, though, y'all. I told y'all I want to layer some. Mmm. 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 I'm over here stirring our gravy. It's coming right along, too. It's going to be good. I'll bring y'all back over there in just a second. I ain't do nothing to it. I just stirred it. That's good. We do need some, some, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more Greek. I was gonna say salt and pepper. Y'all know normally I don't do that, but I'm gonna put some of that in there instead, since that has everything. Add that in. And now we can put it in our pan. This, this pan look too small, let me see. I'm gonna get a bigger pan. gonna use this pan and we're just gonna pour that in and since it has enough cheese in the macaroni I'm just gonna put some cheese across the top because sometimes I'll layer through the middle but it doesn't need it I put that extra sharp in there with that gouda so we'll give it a nice layer on the top what we'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some more of that on there. Well, we might as well not waste it. <laughs> might as well not. There we go. Mm-hmm. We'll let that slide on down up in there. Grab my other cheeses and we'll put some on top and we'll put this in the oven. I'm going to 
put my sharp cheddar on there. And I'm gonna put some Gouda. It smells so good in here, you all. I just wish I could share. Then we got our Gouda that we're just gonna lay right there on top. I don't have that much Gouda left, but I should have enough to go across the top. Let me see if I can see your comments. I'm gonna turn it around in just a second, y'all. Y'all all right? <laughs> um, thank you, Shanti. Hey, Darlene. Thank you, Bernice. John say he ready to eat. I know that's right. You and me both. I'm ready to eat too. Especially this rice and gravy. And I know the gravy's good. I turned it down. So... For those that may be concerned about the gravy, I turned it down because I knew we was going to be over here being occupied, making sure this mac and cheese is going to be right. And this is mozzarella cheese because I wanted that on top. And I'm going to put some right down the middle. And now it can go in the oven. So I'm gonna cover it first, and then I'll uncover it. And then we'll finish this gravy log, and um, we'll finish the gravy. And then I'll get off live, and I'll post the plate. Since y'all see me make everything, and you've seen everything done, except the macaroni and cheese. With the exception, of course, of the gravy, we gotta finish. I got my oven on 350. So we're gonna put that in. I'm gonna bring y'all back over here so y'all could see this gravy that. We're gonna finish up. But you can see how thick it is already. All right. I wish I had my Google in here. Oh my, I ain't got my Apple Watch or nothing. Let me see if I can put the time over here. Uh, what are we doing? The macaroni. Dang, this gravy smell good, y'all. I am not playing. Uh, uh, it smell, I ain't even did nothing to it. We gotta add water and everything. Well, let me taste it. Let's start there. Now I got a little bit of my chicken base I'm gonna add. Some other options you could do a gravy packet. I didn't do that today. Y'all know I like to use these sometimes. The pork is my favorite, but this is the chicken. Uh, or you could just season yours how you want, like we did today. Flavor it how you want and season it how you want. There's stuff you could use to darken it and all that, so we'll get to that. Let me taste the gravy, though, because it smells too good for it not to taste like something. Mmm. What did I put in there? I didn't even add anything to that. That tastes good. I mean, it's kind of bland, but it tastes, I guess it's because we fried the chicken in this pot. And then they got the onions and the peppers. So I'm going to put a little bit of the Greek in there. I am gonna darken it up. Let's add a little bit of our chicken base. And it looks like that. If you got the beef, you already know. Cause y'all know I use the beef base for the uh, the recipe for the oxtail and the, um, the neck bone. So it's just like a bouillon. You just add that in. 
And then once you get your flavor right, you can darken it. But this gravy is good. It's right. I want to make some more though because it's so good. I want to make, I want more of it, but... That's it right there. Now I'm gonna get my um and it looks a mess, but <laughs> let me try to grab one that don't look so bad. Okay. Oh, that one's gone. I'm throw that one away. Okay, I'm just gra I'm grabbing my brown gravy sauce. So I was trying to grab one that didn't have stuff all over it. But this stuff is so messy. So I'll just add a little bit of that. It does not have a taste to it. That's why I use it for my fried rice. And um, or if I would just want to brown a gravy. And as you can see, it turns it all brown. Doesn't take much at all. And I got onions and peppers in this gravy. And we used oil and butter to cook those up and then we use the little chicken broth a little chicken base and our seasonings to get it to where it is it's real simple real easy honey so let me taste one more mm. Woo! <laughs> that's good all right now for the best part we are gonna start adding that chicken Right on back in that gravy, child. Are you okay? Girl, yes. Come on, get a spoon. See if it takes this gravy. I'm going to tell you why I was hollering. I'm going to show you why I was hollering. Come on, give me a spoon. Because I got to get this chicken in here. All right. You got to taste this, honey. Hold that because it's hot. Just hold it. All right, I'll help you blow it in a second. Let me get the chicken in here. It smells good. Hmm? It smells good. It smells good? It smells good. Oh, just wait. You just wait, wait, wait. Y'all, <laughs> so silly girl. All right, blow it a little bit and taste it now so you can get on out the way. I'm trying to get the chicken in here. I'm actually about to get out though. I'm just showing them how to do this. I did actually. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get the chicken down in the gravy. All right. What you got to say? Don't you start running. What you got to say? I knew you. <laughs> She's so silly, y'all. She just start running. <laughs> she just start running, you all. Running through the house. Uh-oh. Alana, stop being silly. So I got the chicken in there. I'm just going to try to get it more submerged in that gravy, you all. And I'm going to just let this... I'm put it on a low. The chicken's already done, so we got all that flavor in that pot, honey. Got a nice little gravy. Mm -hmm. We did it, y'all. I don't know how long I've been on here, but with the exception of cutting the greens at the beginning, I said this is a two hour meal. So, thank you all. So, for those that just getting on, let me show y'all real quick. The macaroni's in the oven. I'll post a picture of the food. There's our pressure cooked greens with salt pork and smoked turkey. We cooked that smoked turkey for 40 minutes. Um, pressure cooked first. Then we added in our greens for another 45 minutes. We fried up our chicken and made a gravy. 
Okay, honey. Cut up some onions and peppers for that. We did a rice, which is back here. Okay. And we have our, our macaroni and cheese in the oven. I got a timer set for that. And I got the Hawaiian rolls right here. <laughs> and the kids are running around. So thank you all so much for hopping on. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for spending time with me. Listen, I never mind cooking on live. I just don't be feeling like y'all be wanting to see me cook like that whole meal. So if you like this, then make sure you let me know. Leave it in the comments and I'll cook more of my whole meals for you all because it really doesn't bother me. So because <laughs> this is what I'm going to do on or off live. This is my life. I love to cook. Um, it's just who I it's, it's a part of my way of showing love to my family and to those around me so thank you so much stacy thank you inga okay gina said we like it okay i could do it it ain't hard for me so i've always said that i just feel like people are like they don't want to watch me cook they don't want, <laughs> they don't want you to cook a whole meal so okay so what i'll do is um just look out for a, a, a picture thank you shanti thank you margaret Thank you. Hey, Corette. How are you? Some of you are like my family. I haven't seen you in so long, sweetheart. It's so good to see you. You don't really know how people are doing until they, you know, show up. You know what I mean? Like until you see people. It's so good to see you, Corette. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. Praise God. Thank you, Joan. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm trying to get everybody I can. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Margaret. That's my grandmother's name. Thank you so much. Thank you, Benita. All right. I love you all. Thank you, Sheila and Eric and Cheryl. Okay, so you can leave me any feedback in the comment section. My little grandbaby. Girl. Grandchildren. It's a blessing to be a grandparent. It really is. What you doing? She can do whatever she want to do. <laughs> all right, you all have a great rest of your day. I will post that picture. So just look out for it. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Don't forget my cookbooks are on a sale for right now. Use the discount code love at checkout to get uh, half off. And uh, thank you to my subscribers. I love you all, all of you. I thank you for your support. Thank you for liking and sharing. Okay, and I'll see you all. Put that down. I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>